Welcome to two examples on how to convert repeating decimals to fractions. In the first example, we have 2.3 with a 3 repeating. The first step is to form an equation by setting the repeating decimal equal to x. So for this equation here, we set x equal to the repeating decimal of 0 0.3 repeating. And let's label this equation 1 from step 1. Step 2, if needed, multiply both sides of the equation by multiples of 10 until just the repeating digits are to the right of the decimal. This condition is already met by this equation because we just have the repeating threes to the right of the decimal. Because this satisfies step two, let's also label this equation two. Step three, we now form another equation by multiplying both sides of the equation from step one or step two by multiples of 10 so that one set of the repeating digit or digits are to the left of the decimal. So because we have a three repeating, we need to form a new equation with one three to the left of the decimal. Notice how to get a three to the left of the decimal, we would have to move the decimal one place to the right, which is equivalent to multiplying by 10. So we multiply both sides of this equation by 10. 10 times x is 10x, and 10 times 0 0.3 repeating is 3.3 repeating. Let's label this equation three. Step four, we now subtract the equation from step two from the equation from step three. Beginning with equation three, we have 10x equals 3.3 repeating. And now we subtract equation two, where the equation x equals 0 0.3 repeating from this equation, which means we subtract x from the left, and we subtract 0 0.3 repeating from the right. Subtracting 10x minus x, or 10x minus 1x, is 9x. On the right, 3.3 repeating minus 0 0.3 repeating is equal to 3. And now we solve for x by dividing both sides by 9. Simplifying, 9 divided by 9 is 1. 1 times x is x. We have x equals 3 ninths, which does simplify because 3 and 9 share a common factor of 3. Simplifying, 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3 which gives us x equals one third, which means 2.3 repeating is equal to two plus 0.3 repeating, which we now know is equal to one third. And therefore, as a mixed number, 2.3 with a three repeating is equal to two and one third, or as a fraction, we have a denominator of three, and the numerator is three times two plus one, which gives us 7 thirds. Next we have 0 0.02 with just the two repeating. We begin by setting x equal to 0 0.02 with the two repeating. Let's label this equation one from step one. Step two, if needed, multiply both sides of the equation by multiples of 10 until just the repeating digits are to the right of the decimal. So for step two, we need just the twos to the right of the decimal, not the zero, which does not repeat. Which means we need to move the decimal one place to the right, which is equivalent to multiplying by 10. So we multiply both sides of this equation by 10. 10 times x is 10x. And 10 times 0 0.02 with the two repeating is equal to 0 0.2 with the two repeating. Again, this equation is formed by moving the decimal one place to the right of the decimal, which is equivalent to multiplying by 10. So we multiplied both sides of this equation by 10. This is equation two from step two. And now step three, we form another equation by multiplying both sides of the equation from step one or step two by multiples of 10, so that one set of the repeating digit or digits are now to the left of the decimal which means you now want a decimal where we have one, two to the left of the decimal. To do this, we would have to move the decimal point one place to the right in this equation, which is equivalent to multiplying by 10. So we can take this equation here and multiply both sides by 10. 10 times 10x is 100x, and 10 times 0 0.2 repeating is equal to 2.2 repeating. We could have also taken equation one and multiplied both sides by 100, which is equivalent to 
moving the decimal two places to the right. Either way, we get 100x equals 2.2 with the two repeating for equation three. Step four, we now subtract equation two from equation three. So beginning with equation three, we have 100x equals 2.2 repeating. And now we subtract equation two, which means we subtract 10x on the left, and we subtract 0 0.2 repeating on the right. Subtracting 100x minus 10x is 90x equals on the right 2.2 repeating minus 0 0.2 repeating is equal to two. Solve for x, we divide both sides by 90. Simplifying, this simplifies to one x or x, giving us x equals 2 90ths, but two and 90 share a common factor of two, so we must simplify. We divide the numerator by two and the denominator by two. Two divided by two is equal to one. 90 divided by two is equal to 45. So now we know x equals 1 45th, and x is equal to the repeating decimal, and therefore 0 0.02 with the two repeating is equal to 1 45th. I hope you found this helpful.